Hello girls and guys, now in this video we are going to redirect the user if the user is trying to upvote but it's not authenticated. Like if I click here, I could upvote, yeah, but I, I am authenticated. Now if I if I'm not authenticated, this is going to produce an error because it's unauthorized and I don't want that. I want to redirect this user to the sign up page. For that, I believe I need some way to communicate with the user. And I like one component from Material UI. I think it's called Snack Bar. Let's see if it's still, sometimes they rename components. I'm not sure if it's still Snack Bar. Yeah, it is. And then you can open these nice snack bars here. And I think this is a good way for us to communicate. But, uh, with all new features and cool features, we also need to, to have a challenge because I don't want to implement a snack bar just for this specific case. It would be better to have something more like generic that I could call and show anywhere, right? I think that would be the goal. <sighs> I think we are going to try to use React context here to implement that. I think this would be a nice to have. Yeah, let's see if you can knock this off pretty quickly. I don't know if you're going to be able to do this in 10 minutes, but let's try to do around that. Okay, first I need to have this component, right? Then I am not doing a very good organization here, but I will try to have a components folder because this is a very generic component. Oh, I mistyped components. Yeah, then I'm going to call this alert yeah alert js that would be my component or maybe I can structure this as a hook but let's start with alert later we can we can do whatever you want okay then I, I don't use part default I prefer to have cool names for my main modules anywhere then I don't go with part default uh, okay uh let's see how this works then this is example is using use state and it's just showing and closing and that's basically it but we need to have like a custom message right and maybe we also maybe no for sure we need to consume from a context then i can create the alert context alert context and there is there has been like a a long time that I don't create a new context. Then let's just go to React Docs because I uh, we usually don't create context like every day. I don't have to remember. I know how it works, but I don't remember exactly the API. But I think we we are going to have pretty good examples here. Yeah, this is the way to create the context, and then that's the first thing that I need to do. And I will call alert context. Then my default value here is going to be nothing, like I don't have a message and it's is open. No, it's not open. I think this is the way that I want to start this. Then like this context is going to have a provider and then this provider is going to, to have consumers in different places, right? And we have examples here, like create context, and then the user has like this team button, and then you can have the button, and then you have the provider, and the provider get the state from a different component and provide to the components below. Maybe this is very confusing. Then let's just try to, to make it easier. Like I'm going to create like this alert context here, and then we, are, we have this context that then we need to have a provider. Then what I want to do is I want to have this affect my whole app, but I don't think it needs to be above my router. Or yeah, I think here is good enough. Then I'm going to have this alert context. I'm not exporting it. No, now I am. Then I'm going to have this alert, alert context here. And this guy is going to receive a value. If I don't, if I remember correctly, yep. And this value is going to come from a custom hook, uh, yeah, I think from a custom hook that I'm going to create, like use alert, and then I have my alert here, alert. 
and then this guy is going to be provided here. Yeah, that's it. Then I have a way that I can create now that I can change this, this context because the part that I don't remember very in a very nice way, like this is setting the state. This is providing the state, then the state is changed, then it's affecting here. Hmm. Okay, then the use val the use the alert will be my state. Okay, then I need to create another. I'm just adding new files, but I could add all of them in if in the same file, but I prefer to have new files. Like my use the alert, then I can do it will be similar to this one, but I prefer to structure like this. Then I have use state here. And by default, it's not open. Then it's is open. Is open will be false. Okay, that's what I want. I also want to show alert. Or it could be open alert, right? To be more aligned with the name. Set is open will be true. And I also want to to call this providing a message. Then I can have another one here called message, set message. By default, this message is going to be empty. Then I can also call set message and provide a message. Oh, sorry, this is just a string. Okay, close the alert. I think I can probably use like a, a way to automatically close it. Uh, but sets is open false. Let's see. It was handle click, right? Okay. No, this is was to open my alert. I'm not going to use like this. This is my is open that I just changed it. This is going to close it. Uh -huh. And here I have my message. Okay, that is this undo function. Usually I have these actions in my snack bar, then the user can go ahead. But in this case, I'm not going to, to add this action. Uh, can be just the close. I don't remember, there was a close here as well. Oh yeah, that is this close button, okay. Oh, but maybe I want this action, right? Because I want to go to to a different position. Uh, can I have like my on click? Maybe I can implement my custom on click and also my action text, action label and on action. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Then I could have this open alert and then this could have also this, or maybe we could assume that we are always going somewhere, then this could be like this, history.push route. And then we can use history from React Router. That's the good part about, about React Router, like you can always use, sorry, not React Router. This is the good part about uh, React hooks, you can reuse like this in a very nice way. It's a very powerful way to build components. Then, okay, then I need to also have my route here. Then I'm not going to get my route here. I could have just one state, but I prefer to have multiple states like this. And actually, this is going to be the way that I decided if I want to, to have the route or not then I can just have the, if I want to have this button or not. Like if, you, if I don't have a route, I don't want to render this button. And that is going to be my action label, set action label. Okay, set action label. And then I need to have a way to set all this data. Okay, this is my use alert and I implemented it here, but I think we need to have like the use the alerts is going to provide some, some functions and also 
but the data, I think I'm a little bit confused here because the data I need to have in the context, but I miss, I'm mixing like the content and the action, like this is the action and the components here as well, but I don't think the component should be here. Let me think this better because I think this should be in my component here. And then, yeah, I think I need to review context. I already created a context to do a, an alert like this um, because I the value is coming from the props, create context by default. Because I need to change the value in the context. Yeah, I think this part should be just a component that expose all these functions or maybe this function to a different level. Because when I create this, then I have the consumer I'm not sure if I'm doing this in the in the right way because the use, use the alert is going to create these states. And I was thinking about returning this. Yeah, but I, I'm going to create a new. I need to have this in a upper level. Let me see how they are changing the context here. Not this one, this one, yeah. This dot state. Because I think the consumer just needs to receive this, right? Then it's going to change everything. Let me try. Like I have use the alert here. And then my use the alert can just provide. Yeah, I can have my use the alert here, actually. Like, let me extract this and copy here. Then I can have my use the alert here, use alert. Then this is going to have an open alert function. Open alert function. Return open alert. Close the alert. And also all the states that I need to render my component. Message and there is one more is open. Oh, I removed this from here. Then I don't need this anymore. And this is wrong. So here. I have this, yeah, that's the right place. Then I have my open alert here. I don't think I need this here. I need this in the context. So here I have the use the alert with all this data. And then I can send here. Okay. And here. I don't think the place is important. I can have the alert with all these props. Is open, close the alert, message, route, and action label, action label. I think this looks better now. Let me go back here. 
Then I don't have this. I just have a state and the state's providing these functions to change the state. And then this is going to receive these props from my context. Okay, when I change this in my consumer, yeah, this should not be here, maybe. I'm not sure. Because then I need to call open alert somewhere. And this is going to, to fire. Then I can have my consumer. Let me get this. Where I was here, right? Yeah. Now here, if the user, if I don't have a user and I have the logged user somewhere, user. Yeah, this could be like a logged user. Uh, use logged user. And I can also create this here as a component. JavaScript, oops. Use logged user because I don't want to write the same function all the time. Use logged user. And then I can just return this. Yep. Okay. Then here, if I don't have the user, const user, logged user, use logged user. Then if I don't have a user, I can, I could get the, the context consumer and I could produce, because I think we can mix this. What is my consumer here? Consumer, yeah, context consumer. I think you have a way to a new hook that's called use context. Use context. I think we have this hook. Oh, this one is in Portuguese. Oh, it goes to the to the index. Oh my god. I just want to know the API here. Okay, just provide my context. And then I'm going to receive. I think it's the data that is my value. Okay, let me try this. Then I can use like this, use context. And then I'm going to, to get this alert context. Use context and alert context again. And then alert context, I can get the open alert. And this will be just my message for now. Sign up to upvote. And I'm going to return. Let's see, let's see. I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure. I need to, to review this better. Like, I'm not creating a context for a long time. Render is not a function. Okay, did you mean context? Uh, rendering context? What I'm rendering the context? Where I am rendering the context? Alert context. Oh, sorry. Provider. Use logged user is not defined. Maybe I didn't import yet. Yep. Oh, I just changed the name. Okay. Okay, it's rendering now. Sign up to vote. Yeah, it was, I think my explanation was messy but in the end i got it working in the right way but i was not sure along the way let's see if i can close this yes i can close it let's see if i can go to a custom path 
uh, I need to call this and provide like a route. And again, I'm going to consume from my constant, then it's not a mess. And here I can also have an action label that's called sign up. I think it will be repetitive, like the message sign up twice, sign up, sign up. Yeah, everything is working as expected. And I think here before I do the redirect, I should also close the alert. Okay, let's see. All right, the user back, go here, go here, plus sign up. Yeah, I don't think we need the exclamation mark in the top here. You need to, you need, please log sign in to vote. Yes, sign in now, please sign up to vote. Yeah. Let's see one more time. This is not the video to explain context, but I think it was very confusing for you guys to watch me doing this. Like I do, I did in the right way in the first time without like need to fix anything. But I, I don't think my explanation was clear enough. Like I need to, we need to create this. Then we need to consume like this uh, context and we can use a hook to do that. That uh, what I'm doing here and actually don't need to to consume like this, you can also do open alert and you could even extract this part and just have a hook call, use the open alert and you can call open alert and that's it. But I think this is also not very hard to implement. Uh, yeah, but maybe you should improve this a little bit using create this another this other layer. And then what I was like confused because I was not really remembering what I did in the, in the other implementations because I was not using hooks, it was in a previous re version of React without hooks, but I need to keep the state somewhere to provide the value here and to render here. Then like context is not that simple to understand. I was able to do like without any error or adjustment, but I know it's wrong, it's hard, and my explanation was not very clear. But anyway, the goal here is not to explain context, <laughs> is to implement the system. Then I would try my, my best to explain better in the context video. And now that you can upvote, maybe we should upvote the context because I don't know how to explain it better. I just know how to use it. And that would be a good challenge for me. Maybe in the React topic that we're going to have, we should have like upvote, upvote this part because I think I need to, to improve my skills of how to explain context while I'm implementing it. And let's comment to be sure that we don't have any problems here. Uh, implements a way to send an alert to the user. It's not really an alert, right? It's just like a message, but uh, I call alert. I don't know why. Oh, we also have this to do here. That's solve it now. I don't know if you can see it because maybe my face is hiding it, but we got an error. As always, this is not a problem, okay? It's, we set up this in a way that we want to have these errors. I don't know, I don't see the errors here. It was an error or it was not an error. Maybe this was a, an old message. Let me just double check it. Oh no, it was not an error. It was an old message that was there. Uh, I tried to hide this part so I don't use this part because my face would be there. <laughs> then I was not seeing like the top corner in the right the top not the bottom corner okay here we are doing this right maybe we should just remove this and also uh, yeah i think that's the only part required because this guy is not going to be accessible for one someone that is not uh, authenticated because it's impossible to undo a vote that we are not authenticated to do yeah, but yeah, we're going to, to finish this in the next video. See you. Bye-bye.